I'm experiencing in my life that the current is speeding up. And I'm looking forward to it, and yet I also feel as I have nervousness about it or anxiety about it. Okay, if I let go of the paddle and just let it take me, it's moving in the direction that I want it to move, but it's speeding up. It's getting faster. So but here's the thing, because everything's relative. Imagine an airplane high in the sky, 50,000 feet up there, and going 600, 700 miles an mm -hmm. hour, and you're looking out the window, and everything's just, the landscape's going by, mm -hmm. and all is well. Put that same aircraft on the ground at that speed, and it would be a white-knuckle flight for sure. Mm -hmm. Because in the air, there's little resistance, and on the ground, there's a lot of resistance. Mm -hmm. And so, from your place of resistance, you're speculating a fast-moving stream, mm -hmm. and we're saying, from your place of resistance, a fast-moving stream is going to be a little hard to deal with. But when you turn and go downstream, and turn and go downstream, and turn and go downstream, now you're going with the flow, and now you're having a lovely ride. In other words, everything's relative. When Jerry and Esther look at what they are achieving, what they are accomplishing, and what they are personally dealing with on a day-to-day -day basis, it they can't even wrap their thoughts around it in relationship to who they used to be and what they used to do. Mm. But they're up to speed with it. Jerry tells the story of the farmer that every day went down to the fence and picked his little calf up and lifted it over the fence. And he did it every day, and every day the calf got a little bigger, and every day he got a little stronger, until pretty soon he's lifting a great big bull up over the fence and Jerry said that sort of feels a little bit like what we're doing and we say it's not like that in the sense that you're lifting heavier and heavier things it's like that in the sense that you're leveraging yourself in more efficient ways mm -hmm. by utilizing the vibrations of the universe instead of bucking the current when you get in sync with the energy it takes very little action but so many of you don't get in sync with the energy and you use your words and your action and you fight the current and then you get tired and exhausted and then you say if it takes this much effort and this much energy to do this little bit then it must be a whole lot more when it really gets rolling and we say no when you're flowing with it you don't even feel it it feels like flying and soaring it doesn't feel like working hard you see so many fairies of the universe come in concert to assist you in whatever you're wanting. So it's like doors are opening for you and so much of the energy that you were expending in just getting by, you're no longer expending in that way. You're expend Jerry and Esther talk about this all the time, that they have the same 24 hours and the same willingness to apply a certain percentage of that to their life's work day after day but the accomplishment is huge in comparison with what it used to be even though they're not working any harder they're not working any longer in other words they are applying themselves more deliberately and they are leveraging themselves so much more effectively but there's that's what we meant earlier when we said you can't assign how many hours in a day and how many dollars per hour you can't come up with the kind of income that some people are earning mm. there are billionaires on your planet that you cannot sort it out in terms of hours and time and energy there has to be something else that's involved in it and mm. what it is is alignment with their own dreams you see mm. so again we're going to ask you to talk to us about dollars <laughs> make it real in other words, what kind of thing do you say about dollars as you move through the day? Not theoretical, not analytical, not analogies. Talk to us about the nitty gritty of money in your life. Mm. Money comes and money goes. Um, I, money I in and money out. Money now, in how and does money. that feel? Money in and money out. Money in and money out. How do, do, are you saying money in and money out? Or are you saying money in and money out? How do you mean that? Um, pretty much I say money in, money out. It's like breathing. It comes and goes. That's been my experience. Um, when I've needed it, it's there. It manifests. Um, now, these are all downstream. Yeah, and I, I want to raise the bar. I would like to raise the bar in terms of quantity, of in and, in and out both. I'm happy to yes. spend it. I'm happy to receive it. Yes. And um, I'd like to play with it much more. Yeah. All right, now that was your first upstream comment. Okay. In other words, money in, money out, and I can see how it could expand and how in the same way that this money comes and goes, that a little more money could come and go. I can feel that, and I, but I would like a lot more money to come. That, did, did, you feel, did you feel resistance in that at all, even a twinge of it? Hmm. 
If not, then just keep talking because okay. if it, if there is resistance in it, the more you talk, the more it will show up. Okay. And if there isn't there, if it isn't there, then it won't. Okay. Uh, so so what do you mean more money? Uh, more more of it available to me uh, more often. More, uh, more. Is it starting to feel more upstream? More of it available mm. to me, meaning it's not available now. More often. Mm. You, you see what we're getting at? So now, so now, turn those thoughts downstream as best you can. Um, hmm. <laughs> All the money I need is always available to me at any at any moment. Keep talking. Um, um, I've often had the experience of not knowing where it was going to come from, and there it was. Exactly. Money can come in surprising ways, That's and the true. more relaxed I've been about it, the more easily it comes. And so I sort of get the idea of relaxing and allowing it to come. Absolutely. And right. I can like... feel that I have set some stuff into <laughs> vibrational escrow, so I can feel that the call of money is stronger than it's ever been before. In fact, because it's stronger than it's ever been before, I'm feeling my resistance to it more. And so my willingness to say I have enough is not quite as willing because I've been saying more and more I don't have as much as I want. Yes. And that's not a bad statement. That's a clarifying statement. I'm just recognizing that I'm wanting to let more in and I know that my life has caused me to ask for more than I'm letting in so I realize it's not about asking for more I've already done that mm -hmm. it's about finding ways to let more of it in mm -hmm. and I've heard Abraham and others say that appreciation lets money in more than criticism yes and so I am appreciative of the, the money that comes talk to us about how your money comes and how you feel about that how my money comes now it's uh <laughs> well, it comes because it exists, and I'm, I'm, I stopped working, and I've made certain decisions. My, my life has gone a big change. I'm, I'm moving. I'm moving out of the country, actually. I sold my house, so I have um, some money from selling the house. And so that's how the money has come recently. And um, I don't know where it's going to come next time or um, in the future and I trust and, that it will and so you see that's where your bugaboo is because what what you're feeling is you're saying well I performed action and I amassed money and I purchased property which I now am selling and now the sale of the property is giving me some revenue but there is an ending to that and that's what sort of got you hung up. In other words, you're saying money in, money out, money in, money out. But now you know what you're saying? Money out, money out, money out, mm -hmm. money out, money out. That, that's what's stuck in your vibrational craw, isn't it? Yes, and it is. so what you're wanting to begin to acknowledge is that there are plenty of avenues for money to come in. And it's it, just like the, your analogy about the air in and the air out mm -hmm. and the air in and the air out. You are more comfortable when you allow the air in and you allow it out. In other words, we don't see any of you out on your porch trying to breathe all of the air for the day in <laughs> all at once and then you just go through the day letting a little out and a little out and a little out we don't, and so and you don't want to do that with money it seems yes. you, you don't want to have a big sale of something where you've got a big chunk of money and then money out money out that's what's making you uneasy mm -hmm. but we want you to begin saying relative to dollars it's not quite like breathing in and out because with dollars I can take longer slower breaths in and longer slower breaths out in other words I have plenty of money that's in and now while this money is going out and there's plenty of it there will be other avenues for it to come in these are the kind of conversations yes. you want to have yes and as you relax into that it is our promise to you that all of the money that you will ever want will always flow to you yeah. There is no, you will reach the place and not very far from now mm -hmm. where the money will flow in faster than you have time for it to flow out. In other words, it's going to start piling up on you. We're not kidding you. And as it begins to pile up on you, you're going to have to stretch your ability to let it out. And we encourage that you do that because yeah. it is as much out of balance for you to let it out faster than you let it in as it is for you to let it in faster than you let it out. Mm. Did you hear that? In other words, you're wanting this balance. So why not begin the process of mentally letting it out even before you physically let it in? Begin expressing the money. Think about what you'll do with the money. Mm -hmm. Expend the money.
We encouraged Jerry and Esther and those who were talking to us in the early days about money to put $100 in their pocket and spend it all day long. I could spend it here, I could spend it here, mm. I could spend it here. It's great fun to think of all of the things. And some said, oh, Abraham, you haven't been physical lately. $100 won't go very far. And we said, <laughs> spend it a thousand times today. And you've spent $100,000. And that goes a long way in getting the juices flowing mm. in your financial vibration, you mm. see. Mm. You're doing fine. Mm. Yes. Good. Thank you. Yes, indeed.